Hey, what's up guys? In this video, I want to show you how you can make video mockups for your print on demand products. And we're going to specifically look at place it because I think they really excel at creating print on demand mockups in general, but really their video mockups um, are really good and they've got a pretty extensive uh, choice of different models that you can have wearing your products. So I'm then going to show you after I show you how to create the mockups and place it, I'm going to show you how you can use these on Amazon to run the video ad formats, which by the way are really underutilized. You can get clicks at the minimum bid because I've been running a bunch of experiments on my end. I'll let you know the results of those as well. And you can use video mockups on your uh, Etsy page as well for Etsy listings. And I'm going to show you an Etsy shop that is doing this actively and is absolutely crushing it. Now, I don't want to attribute everything to the video, but I do want to say that there could be a correlation there. They've got videos on all their maca or all their listings and they are smashing. So it's going to be a good video. Let's get straight into it. Real quick before we get started, wanted to remind you to take advantage of my free weekly print on demand giveaway where two winners are selected every Sunday. This week is sponsored by Merch Titans Upload Automation, Merch Ninja Research Tools, All Sunsets Premium Pre Made Graphics, and Bubble Scout, the only Redbubble niche research and validation tool. You can find a link in the description to the giveaway. It takes like 10 seconds to enter. There's also a link in the description to my free print on demand eight day mini course delivered via email it takes like five seconds to join that if you would like to take advantage of it and a link to my print on demand Facebook group. All right, let's talk first about place it and uh, place it is another one of these like really great uh, I'll, I'll call it a Swiss army knife in that it has a lot of different valuable functionality for our print on demand businesses today. I want to look exclusively at their video mockups. I may do a full place it review sometime in the near future. Let me know if there would be a uh, desire for me to do that. Just let me know in the comments below because there really is a lot to place it. And I, this is the first time I've talked about it on my channel. I think I don't know how it took me so long to circle back to it. But the uh, the one thing that I think they do really, really well is video mockups specifically. And that's what I'm going to show you. So you can go ahead and you can join place it. There's a link in the description. If you want to support the channel and click that link, I'll put it at the top of the description. And once you sign up and I think you can create these mockups without even signing up because um, I'm pretty sure I did that. And then when I wanted to download it, it was like, all right, now you have to sign in. So if you just want to follow along and experiment, um, go ahead and do that. I think you can do it without being signed in. So then you're going to want to go to the navigation where it says videos, hover over that and then click T-shirt videos. Now you'll see a page similar to this. As I mentioned a second ago, there are quite a few different video mockups you can choose from. And I didn't actually even like take pictures of the full range of selections. So I ended up scrolling down towards the bottom and used the one right here behind me. The reason I selected this one is because I have seen multiple times on Amazon, uh, people using these, this model, this model specifically, the one behind me, in their video ads. And of course they have a lot of selections to choose from. Uh, this is probably the most common one that I've seen personally. So you know what, I'm going to assume that maybe it converts well. So I click it after you click it, you go to the page where you can customize your own video mockup guys. You're going to be blown away by how easy this is. <laughs> the first thing I would do is I would set the, the shirt color. So that's on the right hand side. Uh, by the way, you can even add audio. I haven't experimented with that functionality yet. The one thing I would recommend is if you do add audio, um, you're going to want to probably make sure that whatever you grab is like open source, um, copyright free music. And, uh, I'm trying to think like, do I know a website where you can get some, honestly, I'm not really sure. You can typically go to YouTube and find some and just find a download link in the description. Anyways, underneath the ad audio, click shirt color. As you can see, there are a ton of shirt colors that you can choose from. You can even click more. And then I think add your own hexadecimal color code. Personally, I've only worked with black shirts and white shirts, so I keep it simple. Uh, after that, on the left hand side, it says upload your image. Go ahead and click that and upload your T-shirt image. Now, you're most likely going to upload something that is not in the dimensions that it recommends. You can actually see in that little mock up there in the screenshot. It says upload your image 750 pixels by 1200 pixels. Now, I don't know about you, but everything I design for shirts is optimized at 4500 pixels wide by 5400 pixels tall, which is the Amazon merch standard dimensions. Here's what's cool. You can upload the dimensions I just described, you can upload larger than the ones that they ask you for. So 4,500 by 5,400. And what it'll do is it'll pop up and it'll basically allow you to crop and readjust your image. I don't think I screenshotted it. No, I didn't. But um, it, it takes like a second. The only thing I recommend doing is 
adjust it to be more towards the top of the shirt because if you design for your uh, graphics to show up towards the top of the shirt, place it will by default push it towards the middle. So then you'll have to drag and move it up towards the top, all right? Once you've done that, just click OK. You'll see this screen. It'll say preview your last changes. If it looks good, all you need to do is in the bottom left corner, click play all. When you do that, you will see a pop up. It'll say processing all slides. This may take a quick minute or two. Give it a minute. And after that, it will in the same pop up show you your video animation. This one was about nine seconds long. And you can see there I uploaded a design that says I'd rather be fishing you guys that have been subscribed to my channel You may recognize that from my curved text tutorial video if you missed that one guys I will link to it right here and I'll show you how you can create those curved text graphics uh, On you know for your print on demand designs in Photoshop, so you don't want to miss that one. It's really good All right, so go ahead and click the download button and you will download the video file to your computer now What do you do with it? the first thing I want to show you is how to run Amazon ads with video okay now this is not being done by many people at least in my experience and those of you guys I dare I say the loyal subscribers that watch most of my videos you've probably heard me say this before but I really very strongly believe that anything you do in life if you're gonna spend your time doing it try to be really good at it as good as you can be and when you're just determining what to do try to find an edge okay in this case, if you are going to sell on Amazon and there is an ad format that performs extremely well and there's low competition, wouldn't you consider that to be an edge that you can exploit? I'd say so. So Amazon video ads, underutilized, worth your time. Now, I don't know if everybody can run these. I have my old AMS account. Uh, so I'm able to run them on any product that I want. I know that that is an edge that I have over probably everybody watching this. So I apologize there, but I do know that also you can join Amazon's brand registry and then you should be able to run video ads under the sponsored brands ad format. And that this, this you will do through uh, seller central. So anybody that's watching, that's not an AMS, you can still go to seller central and you should be able to join brand registry and then access the sponsored brand ads, which is where you'll access the video ad. Now, I apologize if that was complicated. I know most people watching probably aren't running ads. I know there's like a weird thing about advertising and um, it's tough to, you know, take that leap and get started. Also, just want to remind you guys, I do have pretty much every course that I've put together, whether it's KDP, FBA, Merch, or my general print on demand course, they all show you exactly how I recommend advertising on Amazon with step-by-step -step tutorials. You may want to check that out. There is a link in the description, but um, anyways, go ahead and click sponsored brands. Now it'll take you to the create your ad screen. One of the things it'll ask you is, do you want to create a product collection ad, a store spotlight ad, or a video ad? And you know which one we're clicking. So go ahead and click video. Now the video file requirements, in case anybody is wondering, uh, they are visible right here. They're also visible when you're creating the video ad. Honestly, um, there's nothing we, we need to worry about. You can actually take the place it video that we just created, the mock-up, as is, drag, drop it into your Amazon, um, you know, the little space for uploading your file, and that's it. You don't need to make any tweaks, but in case anybody that's watching this is wondering what the specifications are, go ahead, pause the video, and you can read them right here. Also, there is an even more in-depth resource for Amazon advertising video guidelines. I will put a link in the description in case anybody wants to go read it. Um, but I'm not going to read it to you because it's pretty long. So after your video completes its upload, you'll see a real-time preview both for how it's going to look on mobile and for how it's going to look on desktop. You just need to adjust the ad preview um, drop down that you see at the top there. Now, if you guys have never gone to Amazon and did like a search and seen a video ad, um, I guess you don't shop on Amazon that often because they are becoming more and more common. But here's the thing. They're still new enough where in my experience, at least in regards to print on demand, like I've been able to get away with running these ads and bidding the minimum. Now the minimum for bidding uh, keyword bids on video ads is 25 cents. That is quite a bit. Um, you can run, uh, what is it? Sponsored product ads and bid two cents. Okay. Now you may not generate any impressions or clicks for two cents, but you might, you might get lucky, right? And it doesn't hurt to try at two cents, but at 25 cents, you do need to be a little bit more conscious of what you're spending is it converting? Some of your products are going to convert really well. Not all of them will. So you're, you don't want to be afraid to like kill a video ad campaign. If it's spending your money and not generating a positive return. That being said, um, 
again, like in my experience, I've only done it a handful of times. You probably want to increase the pricing of your products to where you make a larger profit margin to offset the cost of that 25 cent click. Because remember, they can click it and not buy it and you still have to pay Jeff Bezos and uh, whoever is the CEO of Amazon now, um, the 25 cents. All right, and I promised you I would also show you Etsy. So, um, by the way, if you use that bit.ly link, that's bit.ly uh, slash Ryan's method, it'll give you 40 free listings when you open up your Etsy shop in case you're not on Etsy yet. Um, 40 free listings, I mean, heck, why not? All right, so when you create your product listing, uh, the first thing you see at the top is your chance to upload images. Right underneath that, you get a chance to upload video. Now, I'm not sure if they still call it beta or not. I think they do. I grabbed this image off of Google Images, but you can go ahead and you can upload that same video that you had just created from place it into the video spot. Now, what's cool about this is it's not going to cost you anything extra to do. And you can bet that it's going to make your listings look really nice. I mean, when we talk about what is your edge, what is making you better than everybody else that you're competing with on Etsy, for instance, well, if you're uploading video mockups, I mean, that's something that's certainly going to help increase your conversion rate when you get people to your listing. Also, they say uh, at the bottom there, it says quick note, 50% of Etsy buyers will see your videos in an experiment we're currently running. So you may get additional visibility to your listing while Etsy probably is experimenting with videos in search results at times. Because when they see Amazon putting videos in search results, you can bet Etsy's probably going to follow suit. It probably won't be that long till Etsy lets you run um, video ads as well, if I had to guess. All right, so this shop I wanted to show you, uh, Salty FN FNG. They only have 394 sales. It probably will not be long before they have many more sales. Uh, but I'm going to drop a link to them in the description in case you guys want to check out an Etsy shop that really knows what they're doing. I don't know who this person is, by the way. I just found them. I had to open up like a bunch of um, different listings until I found a video being used in a listing. But they're charging a premium for their products, $23.50 in this case uh, for a youth shirt. Um, they may actually be infringing on Pokemon, but that was besides the point for this video. I just realized that they're doing that. I didn't even, I was just looking at the video before. Uh, but as you guys can see here, the video itself looks really good on the listing. You can see it that right underneath the primary thumbnail, Etsy inserts the video so that people can watch. And again, it's just something to differentiate yourself and make you look good in the customer's eyes. So in my mind, guys, like I'm always thinking like, you know, your time is money. Is it worth slowing down to create a video mock-up for every product? Probably not. But if you have a product that's making multiple sales and you know that it is performing very well, at that point, I think it's justified to pop on over to place it, make the video, um, you know, it's not a video ad in this case, just a video mock-up and then upload the mock-up. It costs you nothing but your time and that will make your listing convert even better. So that's it guys. You just saw how easy it is to create video mock-ups in place it and a couple of different use cases to put them to work. There's a link at the top of the description in case you want to go check it out and make your own video mock-ups. Also in the description, there's a link to my full print on demand course, which shows you how I make six figure print on demand sales every single year and includes an advertising module. And that's it. Make sure you drop a like on this video. Subscribe. If you are not, I appreciate you appreciate your time. It's Friday. Have a great weekend. I'll see you tomorrow.